what's unique about this desert, uh, the Rub al Khali and Al Maha in particular, is that it's set aside as a conservation area. So this is the animal's home. Uh, it's not going to be developed for a parking lot for a mega mall. It's not going to be turned into an oil field. This area is set aside for conservation. It's the UAE's uh, national park. It's going to be protected for future generations. The different activities that we offer generally are trying to uh, showcase the 225 square kilometers of conservation area that we have, the culture and the environment. The falconry is definitely integral to the Bedouin culture and now the Middle East culture in general. Um, it was started about 2000 years ago in this region, having come from further east and it was a supplier of uh, food, but of protein, in their diet because their diet was not particularly exciting. It was uh, fairly bland, to say the least, a bit of camel's milk and dates. So falconry is definitely integral to the Arabian culture and previously the Bedouin culture. From my perspective as a naturalist, uh, it's a fantastic area to explore out here. You've got access to all of the wild desert landscape. Uh, we've got a number of animals that are indigenous to this region that you can view on a nature walk. But to be fair, the thing that we're looking for in a nature walk are the smaller things that you don't really get to see in a vehicle. The tracks of the animals through the dunes is like a newspaper. It tells you the goings on of every single animal uh, at night or during the day. And the interactions of those animals is very interesting to follow those tracks. The Sodom's apple is a, is a tree, uh, it's got a nice well-protected stem with a thick bark. It's got big fleshy leaves which is something of a, an enigma in the desert. Uh, with big fleshy leaves you lose most of your moisture to the environment. Uh, this plant protects itself with a waxy layer over those uh, fleshy leaves and little hairs. Those hairs trap fog or moisture in the early mornings and that obviously is used by the, the plant itself. dune bashing or the desert drive we call it. Uh, it's almost the national sport of the UAE. It's something that's very, very popular locally. And we take guests out into the dunes in luxury 4x4s and we give them an exhilarating ride. It's something that would rate right up there uh, with whitewater rafting, bungee jumping in terms of exhilaration. The camel trekking is uh, obviously an activity that goes hand in hand with the culture of the, of the Middle East in general, uh, and as well as North Africa. Uh, camels have been in this part of the world for thousands of years. And riding camels here at Al Maha would almost make you feel like you're a Bedouin, a hundred years back in time. Mm -hmm.